you know, Warren Buffett says that when they interview him, how come people don't follow your path to wealth? And he says, well, because people don't like to get rich slowly. And that's the same with, with investing in your family. It's, you know, we want an instant result, but we don't really want to do the work. And, you know, you're, you're alluding to what if, you know, what if, what if we were able to be obedient to God multi-generationally and, you know, our family's like a microcosm of the grace of God working that out within a set of parents and a set of kids and their spouses, you know, and we're, we're doing the work in individually with our kids to perpetuate that. You know, if in, in Israel, when they were in Egypt and they, they came into Egypt, there was somewhere between 3,000 and 10,000 of them that with Jacob came in with Joseph to Egypt and they, God blessed them. And, you know, they were oppressed by the Egyptians, but within whatever period of time that was, 125 years, there was two and a half million of them somewhere in that neighborhood. God told them he was going to make them as numerous as the stars. He, he told them he's going to give them the land of the Canaanites flowing with milk and honey. The rate of their growth, whether some of that was the converting, some of it was through just the Lord outright blessing them by not having miscarriages, but they grew to two and a half million people in a short amount of time. If they had continued to obey God's commands, that's a that's a birth rate of reproduction rate of 4.17 per year. In 195 years, it would have been 10 billion Israelites on the earth. So essentially, you know, God's kingdom won't be established till Christ returns. But he did give a path of obedience. And it would only take 195 years for every single person on the face of the earth to be a Christian. It is, but it is a one person at a time. I mean, it is doing the hard work. Yeah. And it is obedience. And, you know, that is, God didn't tell us this is what's going to be next. He said, step in faith. And that's the hard work, you know. Thank you for listening to the Family Teams podcast. If you're enjoying this content or have learned something new, please make sure to leave a rating and review and share with a friend. To stay up to date with our events, new content, and products, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Family Teams.